question. Okay, so this structure over here, let, let me do something even better. Uh, what am I going to do better? I'm going to do... Ay, 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 ay. We're going to apply the rules that I've taught you. Okay. I'm not going to find the second moment of area. Second moment of area is just, uh, it's not difficult at all. But we're going to, Look at the solution procedure, okay? So that's the problem with the solution manual. The solution uh, manual is, these are the answers. Why? They don't explain why. So I'm going to apply what I taught you all, okay? You all can hear me online, right? Can someone say yes? Yes, 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 we can hear it. I'm, I'm going to apply what I taught you guys. And then the answer should be the same, okay? So number one, the, we're going to design the shear flow. The web controls the flow, okay? So our shear force is coming from the top. So the web controls the shear flow, right? So now this goes this way. This way, this way, this way, this way. So you, you all can see when I design, I started from the web. Yes, the major web. So from here, we identify terminal. Okay, so this is the terminal. This is a, no, I'll, I'll, I'll use a different card. So this is our terminal over here. We have a terminal over here. We have a terminal over here. We have another terminal over here. So we have terminal one, terminal two, terminal three, terminal four. Okay. And then at this stage, we now know, right, at here, we know what? Stress A. is equal to zero because Q at point A is equal to zero. And not just that, point A is at the what? Terminal. And we know at the terminal, the shear stress is equal to what? Zero. Okay? Now we look at point B, okay? Now, point B, the, the, the area of concern is only this area. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to draw with, it's only this area that's concerned for point B. Okay? So at point, why that area? Because at the shear stress at point B, right, it is a white flange analysis. For this case, it's only what? Q, right? Because what happened in terminal one is will not affect what is going on at terminal three at point B, right? If you look at the shear flow, the shear flow starts from terminal what? One, right? So from here, we calculate Q at point B is equal to the width. Width is equal, I think the thickness is what? The thickness is uh, one over eight. One eight. The depth is 1.25. The y bar is 1.25 divided by 2. So it's equal to 1 over 8 times by 1.25 times by 1.25 divided by 2. It's equal to uh, 976 or 97.656 times 10 to the power minus 3 meter or inch cube. 
So, Eugene, just a quick question. Yes. For, for QB, the Y bar shouldn't be um, 1.25 minus uh, 1, 8 divided by 2 because B in the center of the, the white flange. No, we, you, you take the whole thing. You don't take the... I know what you mean. You, you, you want to stop halfway, right? Yes. No, don't stop halfway. Take the whole thing. This applies to all the, the team... Yep. Yep. Take the whole thing. Okay. okay. So we check our answer now. Okay. So at point B is 97.656. So you look down here. This is also 97.656. Can you see that? It's the same. Okay. So now we want to look at shear stress at point C. So we are going to look at shear stress. at point C. So shear stress at point C, I'm going to take the, I'm going to show you the area that we have to add on, okay? So the area we have to add on is this area. Okay, the area we have to add on is this area. Okay, we have to add on that area. So the area we have to add on so this is again a white flange. Okay, so we call it our white flange. Analysis. It's still Q, okay. So this problem is more con con concentrating on whether Q or 2Q. So it's 97.656 times 10 to the power minus 3 plus, now what is the width now? Okay, so now the width you have to be, you have, you have to be careful. So from here to here is 1.25. Up to here at this point, it is 1.25. So from here to here now, right, we have to be careful. So it's uh, uh, 1.25 times 2 minus by no, 1.25 minus by 1. So this distance from here to here is 1.8. 1 over 8 divided by 2 is 1 over 16. Okay, so 1.25 minus 1 over 16 is equal to 1.1875. And then down here, we also have to take off 1.8. So the distance from here to here, minus by 1 over 8 is equal to 1.0625. Okay, so our width is equal to 1.0625. The depth is 1.8. And then the Y bar is 1.25 minus by uh, 1.8 divided by 2. So 1.8 multiply by half. Okay. So this will be equal to, so let me check again. Okay. So 1.25 minus by 1 over 16. Minus by 1 over 8 is equal to 1.0625. Okay, so 1.25 minus, so 1 over 8 times half. 1.25 minus this times by 1 over 8 times by 1.0625. So I get, so it's still 97.656. Times 10 to the power minus 3 plus by 157.715 times 10 to the power minus 3. Let me do it again. 1.0625 times by 1 over 8 times by 1.25 minus by 1 over 16 is equal to 157.75. 
plus by 97.656 power minus 3 is equal to 255.371. One times 10 to the power minus 3 inches cube. Sorry, okay. the, same, the same question. Hello? Uh, Eugene, just, just, a, just the same question. Why for B, he didn't divide the, the, the thickness by 2, but for C, he divided by 2 for Y bar? He said 1.25 1, minus 1A divided by 2 for C. Uh, B and C, they're in, in the same, almost the same, uh, same area. So now this area, sorry, the area that we are concerned now with, so we have taken this area down here. Right? Point, uh, point B cover this area. Okay? Point C now, we just have to add this area over here. Now got it. Thank you. Okay, right. So um, our answer is two five five point three seven one. The answer is what? Two five five. The unit unit is wrong. Huh? The answer is inch square. The answer is h square. Inch square. I think. Ah, I okay, okay, cube. okay. It's inch cube. Okay. Yeah, a typo error. Okay. So now the next one is we want to find point D. Now this is where things get interesting, right? At point D, you have Q from one side and you have Q from where? The other side, yes or no, right? So at point D, right, I, 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 I'll, I'll copy and paste the diagram. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll do the I'll do the next page. Right at point D now, right? We know that when we design our our shear flow. That's so why designing the shear flow is so important. Right? So we know that the web controls the flow. So all this will come. Right? So at point D, we have to now consider this entire area now. Right? Because point D, it becomes a what? Uh, still a, a white flange, but all coming into the center. Okay? So this is at point D. So the Q at point D, is equal to twice, okay? So twice the AB, so AB we calculated is equal to what? 97.656, 97.656, times 10 to power of what? Uh, I can't remember now. My short term memory is very bad, minus three. Okay, then we plus, now the width is equal to 1.25, twice of 1.25. So twice of 1.25 is 2.5, minus by 1.8 on one side, minus by 1.8 on the other side. So the width, the depth is 1 over 8, right? The Y bar is 1.25 minus by 1 over 8 
multiply 